So this video goes along with page 14 of your packets, and it's designed to teach you how to graph lines using the slope and the y-intercept. In elementary school, you guys learned that any number times a variable is called a coefficient. And you learned that any number all by itself without a letter is called a constant. So at this point, we're just now calling the coefficient our slope, that's the rate of change, and it's also going to determine the steepness of a line. The y-intercept is going to be the ordered pair, the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So what we're going to be doing for these equations is first, we're going to be identifying the slope, which is just the coefficient, and we're going to be identifying that thing as a fraction, so we have the rate of change. And then the other thing we're going to be doing is identifying the constant. So we have the ordered pair where the line will be crossing the y-axis. So the first equation that you guys have here is y equals 2 thirds x minus 6. So the first thing you want to identify is the coefficient, which is the 2 thirds. And that is our slope. That's the end. Since it's a positive 2 thirds, we know that you can divide a positive by a positive or a negative by a negative for the overall answer to be positive. The next thing you need to identify is the constant. Now, in this situation, the constant happens to be a negative number. Our b here happens to be negative, and it is uh, negative 6. I also wanted to remind you guys that x, y is simply a point on the line. You're going to plug in an x that gives you an output y, and you could plot the point. Now, the goal is to be able to do this without needing one of those input-output tables. For example, if we were to plug in a 0, we know 2 thirds times 0 is 0, and then minus 6 is negative 6. Let's take the number 3, for example. If I plug in a 3, 2 thirds of 3 is 2, and then 2 minus the 6 would be a negative 4. We're trying to avoid needing to plug in an input to get an output. So what we can do is we can take the constant and it's going to tell us to start the graph at 0, negative 6. So boom, when you plot that point, you've got where it's going to cross the y-axis. Now, of course, you can see it in the table of values right there, but the goal is to not need the table of values. All right, now we can use the coefficient, the 2 thirds, to build a staircase to get the rest of the points. What I mean first is you can go up to over 3 up to over 3, up to over 3, or you can go down to that 3 because a negative divided by a negative is still a positive overall. So now I'm going to go down two more and that 3, and we're going to connect our points, and we'll make sure we put arrows on the end, and that is now how we have graphed the line for 2 thirds x minus 6 without needing an input-output table. Now the input-output table is still on the board, so what I'll do is I'll check now for over 3 down 4. If we go over 3 down 4, boom, we can see that that point is on the line. So the idea is now at this point, you can go from the equation to the line without needing the input-output table. Let's try the next one. So now for number 2, first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify the coefficient. And this time it's a negative one half. That means we can go negative down one over two, or the negative could be with the denominator, meaning we'll move up one back two. The next thing we're going to identify is that the constant's of three. So we're simply going to start at zero three. We know when we plug in a zero into this equation, we're going to get a three. Now we can use the coefficient to go up 1, but since you went up 1, now you've got to go back 2. Up 1, back 2. Up 1, back 2. That's this one right here. That's the up 1, back 2. Or we could go down 1, over 2. Down 1, over 2. Down 1, over 2. That's the down 1, over 2, which is the first one we identified. Because we have a negative coefficient, we are expecting that this line will go in the other direction. And we'll put our arrows, and we're done. We have now graphed a line that has a slope of a negative one-half, and it crosses that positive three. 
while you guys are finishing graphing the lines in your notes, I'm simply going to erase all of the dots and put the arrows back on the end. And now I'm going to show you how if I gave you the line on the coordinate plane, how you can identify the starting point and then the numbers to make the staircase. Let's say back to number one. Let's say now the goal is if I give you this line on the coordinate plane, I want you to be the one to be able to tell me the equation. So, ask yourself, where does it cross the y-axis? And it crosses the y-axis right here at 0, negative 6. The next thing we want to do is try to find another point on the line. So, for example, some of you might see that point right there. If you do that, you can count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But if you go up 6 and over 8, that reduces to 2 thirds, which means you could be able to go up 2 and over 3, and you'd see a point on the line. Up 2 more over 3, there's another point on the line. So all you've got to do is find that starting point, and now you've got the constant. And then once you see the number to build the staircase, you've got the coefficient. And now you're ready to write the equation. And it'll also work over here for the next one. If you notice, the starting point is at a 0, 3 right there. You've already got the positive 3. Now to get to another point, you're going to go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. So you've got the down 1 over 2, and that means you've got the equation, negative 1 half x plus 3. All right, so now let's take a look at number 3. What you'll notice in this situation is that the coefficient, it's not a fraction. It's really easy to make that a fraction. We're just going to take the 5 and put it over 1. That means we could have a negative divided by a negative. The other thing is that we need to identify the starting point, which would be a negative 4, since the constant is negative 4. So, down, 4 spots, boom, you've got your starting point, now let's build the staircase. We're going to go up 5 and over 1, so up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and over 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and over 1. You could also go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then back 1. We can see that 5 is a pretty big number for a coefficient, which means we're going to have a pretty steep line. And we're done. And for our last one, for number 4, this time our equation has a negative coefficient, so we are expecting it to go backwards that way. Since the coefficient isn't a number we can see, we can assume it's a 1, and that negative means it's a negative 1. So we're going to go down 1 over 1, or we can start by going up 1, and then keep it negative with a backwards movement. So at this point, we're going to start with 0, 6, because the constant is a 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right there. And now we're going to move down one and over, down one and over, that takes care of that one. Or we could go up and then back, so up then back, up then back. And when you connect, you now have the negative slope going backwards, just like we anticipated. And that concludes learning how to graph a line using the coefficient, which we call the slope, and the constant, which we now call the y-intercept.